All right, uh, Apple just announcing, uh, we're getting this in drips and drabs now, from uh, California, a new iPhone, a smaller iPhone, iPhone SE, I guess they're calling it. It's what, four inches, guys? iPhone SE delivers. Okay. Uh, and, and there are going to be some changes made to Apple TV. They're going to have folders for it and a new Siri update. <laughs> Well, I know what I'm doing tonight. Anyway, tech analyst Jess Leslie, tech editor uh, Xavier Harding. Um, what you're hearing, Xavier, what do you make of it? Uh, it's pretty interesting so far. Uh, Apple just announced the lower price for the Apple Watch. Now it starts at $300. Um, that might be a price point that a lot more people can get behind as opposed to the more expensive. And it just also announced the iPhone SE, which is a four-inch newer model. All right, but uh, Jess, I'm looking at all of this stuff. They are, by lowering prices on, on watches, by lowering prices on phones, by lowering prices on lots of stuff, obviously they're trying to build market share. But this is something that the old Apple never did. It was always sort of like a, a cachet to its products, and you happily paid more. I guess they're, they're looking at reality, but what does that mean for the Apple brand? So far, they're having a sale. Um, it's like being at Ann Taylor, only slightly different. I say that's a, a retail reference. Very good. Yeah. Um, okay, so Xavier, I'm looking at this and I'm wondering, there's nothing new, new or dramatic here to cut the price of existing stuff, come up with new bands, colorful bands for the Apple Watch, et cetera. Yeah. I'm wondering, what is the next big thing? Because these seem like ev evolutionary little things. Yeah, it's not necessarily going to, you know, be the revolutionary uh, first release of the iPhone once again. Um, but I think a lot of people have been wanting this. I mean, there are people who wanted the smaller iPhone who haven't upgraded since the iPhone 5S. I think Apple said that the iPhone mm. 5S that was four inches has sold like around 30 million. Uh, so there are people who want these smaller phones, and now they get the latest soft, latest hardware with that smaller form factor. Will this bring much more interest to Apple? I mean, is it a place setter, Jess, for when the bigger announcements presumably come in the fall, that is with an iPhone 7 or whatever? I mean, I think shareholders have reason to be concerned. You know, there, there's the, the lack of kind of interesting new news. Uh, Apple Watch was a hit financially, but it wasn't a hit culturally. You don't see them everywhere. They haven't become u ubiquitous. And I'm just wondering if Tim Cook and, and company are able to tell the difference between a successful product and a failure. And I'm concerned that they do not have the savvy uh, to do that. And they never released the overall numbers on this thing, right? Unless, I mean, uh, or just, they just refuse to do that. They say it's the number one in the smart watch And I believe market, them. Right? Uh, and I do believe them there, but I, I, I just think that, um, you know, when Steve Jobs released a flop, like when he released Mobile Me, you know, he would just admit it. He would say, this didn't work. We're going to throw it away and do something again. And, you yeah. know, you don't see that from a Tim Cook regime. You know, they're a lot more nervous uh, and a lot less inspiring, frankly. Uh, but, uh, Xavier, you're optimistic that they're still on the right track. So yeah, I mean, they're going to do well. All right, I Xavier? mean, we don't know. I think Apple is one to iterate, so they will iterate a product before letting it go. So we might see a few more Apple Watches, and then version 3 or 4, if it's still not selling super well, then they'll uh, make that call. All right, we have another alert coming out of Apple regarding the watch. It, it keeps time. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, all right, guys, thank you uh, very, very much.